In the early 90s, Dave Chappelle was quickly making his way up the comedy food chain. Having graduated from the Duke Ellington School of Arts in 1991, he moved to New York City where he continued performing stand-up comedy. Chappelle quickly made an impression on the comedians in New York. To get into the New York comedy circuit, it's a very closed circuit. I got in all these clubs in like a week, two weeks. That's just reputation. Have you seen this kid? Have you seen this kid? I was like, that dude. Because Dave was underage, Wanda Sykes used to sneak him into comedy clubs. Just a year after moving to New York, Chappelle made his first appearance on HBO's Deaf Comedy Jam, which further solidified him as a force to be reckoned with. As a result, several movie scripts came to Chappelle's door. Robin Hood, Men in Tights, and Undercover Blues are the ones that he would accept. However, Chappelle would pass on a roll, and he would ultimately regret that decision. Here's why Dave Chappelle turned down Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump is based on a 1986 novel by Winston Groom. The book follows a man with a low IQ as he makes his way through certain events in American history. Unintentionally, Forrest teaches Elvis how to dance, meets John F. Kennedy, Lyndon B. Johnson, and Richard Nixon. He serves in the Vietnam War, becomes an original investor in Apple, among other events. The writer of the novel said he originally imagined John Goodman in the lead role, which would ultimately be played by Tom Hanks. A part of the story, Forrest would meet Benjamin Buford Bubba Blue while training in the Army. The two would get sent to Vietnam, where Bubba convinces Forrest to start a shrimp business with him once they get back to the United States. Forrest and Bubba became best friends while in combat. Now in the novel, Bubba was more intelligent and more of a big brother to Forrest than what was in the movie. But actor Michael T. Williamson, who would go on to play Bubba, suggested that he only be slightly smarter than Forrest, which would make them more similar and lead to a stronger connection between the two. In 1993, before the film's production, Chappelle was originally offered the role of Bubba. Now, according to him, he thought that playing a character named Bubba was racially demeaning. It's understandable that Chappelle was worried that the character would play into racial stereotypes, as it was later noted that Williamson, the actor who played Bubba, wore a lip attachment while filming. They made some crazy-ass movies. They tried to get me in Forrest Gump. My agent was like, I can get you in this, this movie's going to win an Oscar. And I said, I must have read the wrong script. This script stumped that I read. What's wrong with it, Dave? It was wrong with it, Frank. So the hero is fucking retarded. <laughs> I don't know about you, I don't have any retarded heroes. <laughs> then seeing a retarded guy, I'm like, oh, wow, I really want to be like you. It's not what you think. You get mad because you got to watch this dummy... Do more shit by accident than you'll ever dream of doing. Get <laughs> mad at that. Like, who, who can be dumber than Forrest Gump? His black friend, that's him. <laughs> no matter how dumb a white dude is, he always gonna find a, a nigga that's dumber. Hey, let's play friends. You're dumber than me. <laughs> and you know he's gonna get killed because he's too cute. Shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. Oh, this motherfucker is doomed. <laughs> Despite his frustrations, Chappelle has gone on record saying that he does regret the decision, mostly due to the critical and financial success of the movie. Forrest Gump was released in 1994 and would end up earning around $678 million at the box office, along with six Oscar wins, including Best Picture and Best Actor for Tom Hanks. Chappelle would later work with Tom Hanks four years later in the 1998 romantic comedy You've Got Mail. Now, three years after it was released, Chappelle would circle back to his connection to Forrest Gump. In 1997, Chappelle made a short film called Bowl of Pork, in which the alternate name was Black Forrest Gump. In the short, Chappelle played a dim-witted man, much like Hanks did in the 1994 film. Black Forrest Gump was responsible for the Rodney King beating, the L.A. riots, and O.J. Simpson being accused of murder. The short film seems like something he would do years later on, The Chappelle Show. Aside from Chappelle, Ice Cube was also approached to play the role, but he declined, refusing to play an idiot. It's also been reported that Tupac read for the role of Bubba, although he did not get the part. In Living Color alumni, David Allen Greer was also another comedian who was offered the part. Greer's manager sent him a script and told him to read it. His manager just told him that the lead character is mentally challenged, and his best friend is mentally challenged as well. Greer responded, listen, if I'm going to be playing a mentally challenged person, I got to be the lead. 
I can't be the mentally challenged sidekick. Greer would read 20 pages of the script and declined. Listen, man, I'm not going in on this. He's talking about shrimp to hold that movie. No, I don't get it. Greer's manager called him three times after to try and persuade him. She even told him that the director and everybody on set loves him. And as soon as he saw Williams' performance, Greer knew he should have auditioned. Cut to a year later, we're in New York. Same manager said, let's go see the movie. And seven minutes in, I'm crying. Damn, he's talking about shrimp. It's in my soul. I feel it. I was like, why didn't you convince me to take the part? She's like, shut up. I sent you the script three times. You never went in. That was a lesson I learned. It was all on me. I screwed that up. Chappelle's career turned out just fine without Forrest Gump. But it does make you think, how did turning down the role change the course of his career?